Okay, guys, this is a back window on a 85, 86 Chevrolet trucks aftermarket. Look at this thing. It's both both panes are moving on this thing. We're talking about used up. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna show y'all a couple of tricks. I've done cleaned it, and prepped it, and we have a special way we go around doing this. We take a steamer and a brush and clean it, and then take compressed air and blow it out. But uh, this is the the Elmer's blue glue gel. What I use sometimes on dot matrix or on the frit, as some people want to call it. I was corrected on that one day. Frit, frat, whatever you'll call it. It's baked on stuff. But uh, this is a. Uh, I put this glue around it and, it, and it serves two purposes. It fills a void between the film and the corner of the, the, the glass. But something else it does. It helps contain the uh, the trash when you're when you're putting the film up there. A certain amount of water will get in, under the film, you know, whatever, when you're squeezing it, depending on which way you squeeze it, it pushes the water out, it comes down, there's nowhere for it to go, then when the fingers come up, it sucks trash up in there. Well, this eliminates about, I don't know, I didn't do the, the algorithms on it to figure out exactly the percentage, so I guess I'd rather not know as I had to be called a liar, but anyway. I never wet the window. If you wet the window, you're looking, you're asking for trash to come in. Any and all gaps. I like to squeeze all my water from the center for the most part to the edge instead of squeezing it down to the bottom first. On an old vehicle like this, it takes patience, perseverance. There again, you don't take these vehicles in for production purposes. I take them in to remind me of what I used to hate about window tinting. Isn't that crazy? I have a love-hate relationship with window tinting. I love the money you make. I love the thrill of victory. And I love the diversity. But, uh, it's, uh, it's still a challenge to do some of these vehicles.